Hey there. These are some crazy times, right? Um, there's a lot happening all over the world. Um, all of us are affected. And I think if you're like me, I can't imagine that everyone's not a little bit stressed and a little bit anxious and just overwhelmed by not knowing. Um, and, and just the disruption and the, the lack of normalcy and, and all of those things. And, you know, I've been, I've been trying to, um, find ways in my day to restore my sense of safety, to restore calm, um, to capture moments that feel right and normal. And today has been a day for me of my ears and how I have been able to ground myself today just by listening, uh, mindfully listening. Uh, I am thankful for the house wren that woke me up this morning. Uh, I woke up this morning to the sound, and if you don't know a house wren, I highly advise you to check it out. It is just the, the coolest bird sound, I think, that can be. It's this fascinating trill of sound that just comes from this little tiny brown creature. Um, and one was singing this morning, and I found him in the bush outside my house, and it made me smile, and it reminded me that birds are still singing. Um, and still flying around and doing what they do for its first day of spring today. Um, so they're thinking about life and nests and all of those things and finding partners and what birds do in the spring. And so that brought me comfort, uh, followed by the sound of the coffee brewing and making the sound it makes every day. Um, and that was somehow calming. And then to hear the, the deep throat clearing sound that my partner makes in the morning, um, He's still here, and he's still making the noises he makes in the morning, um, and and that is comforting too. And then my workday began, and I work in mental health, um, and I work with lots of really smart people who work in healthcare, and we've been spending days and days and days, as you can well imagine, um, trying to manage and think through what we do next um, for our patients and for those that we care for. And so I was on a bunch of conference calls today, right? Because we're all kind of stuck in our houses and, and attending to things via conference call. And with my ears, I heard the voices of incredibly smart people being thoughtful and caring and cautious and mindful and sharing ideas and asking questions and answering questions and probing one another and being brave and being scared and all of those things. And just there was comfort in knowing that there are so many people out in the world who are smart and caring and thoughtful and engaging with one another to try to figure out how we manage everything that's happening. Um, and so I'm grateful to those people and I'm grateful for being able to be witness to all of their just discussions and thoughtfulness. And, and then I went for a run. And just got back and on my run, I put some earbuds in and I put some music on. Today felt like an 80s party music day. So I listened to some 80s party music, uh, little Howard Jones and some various people like that. And it brought a smile to my face. There's something for me that is calming about familiar music, about music that makes me smile, music that makes me want to dance, um, that gives me energy. So I appreciated music. And I think that's the message that I have for you today, that, that even in these crazy times, that we can find simple things. So I urge you to be mindful and aware of what comes into your ears today um, and how those various things can, can bring you calm and soothing. And maybe if you're hearing things that don't bring you calm and soothing, I know, you know, lots of us are, are spending lots of time kind of taking in information um, from the news and various other sources. And maybe we can cut back on that. I mean, we can stay informed, but maybe not overkill. So what can you put into your ears today um, that brings a smile to your face and some warmth to your heart and maybe some peace to your soul? Think about that. Think about your ears and how your ears might be the vehicle today for you to just stay a little bit more grounded than you have been. Please wash your hands. 
Please be smart. Please socially distance. Please stay home if you can. We're going to get through this one way or another. And if we're smart and we're cautious and we're kind and we're thoughtful, I think we're going to come out okay. So be good to yourself. I'm going to try to be back soon and uh, check in with you. But please be careful out there. Take care of yourself. I wish you peace today. Thank you.